sometimes the body needs a helping hand in fighting off disease. Antibiotics are one group of drugs that can kill bacteria cells. Today we're going to look at how they work and how they differ to painkillers. Make the most of this video and your revision time with my study along workbook. It's got loads of tasks to complete while you watch and exam questions to test what you've learned. The link is in the description below or head over to emmatheteachy.com. Antibiotics are widely used in medicine to cure bacterial diseases and have greatly reduced the number of deaths from these pathogens. They're normally taken orally, which means they're swallowed through the mouth, as pills or syrup. Once they've entered the body, they kill the infectious bacteria while leaving your body cells unharmed. One example of an antibiotic is penicillin. You need to learn this example, so we'll highlight it. Specific antibiotics work against specific bacteria, so it's important to use the right antibiotic to cure each disease. For example, this amoxicillin syrup would be able to work against this little bacteria here, but that doesn't mean it'll work against this other species of bacteria. Some strains of bacteria have developed antibiotic resistance, meaning that the antibiotics aren't effective at killing them. This is a real concern, as it takes many years and huge sums of money to develop new antibiotics. Many deaths could occur from antibiotic resistant bacteria. You'll learn more about this, including how it could be prevented in the antibiotic resistance video, which is paper two content. Antibiotics cannot kill viruses. They only work in bacteria. Viruses reproduce inside your body cells. Because of this, it's hard to develop drugs that destroy viruses without also damaging the body's tissues. The symptoms of disease can be treated with painkillers and other medicines. These don't actually kill the pathogen, so they don't cure the disease, but they do help you feel a wee bit better while your immune system actually overcomes it. For example, this girl here has a viral infection that's causing her to have a headache. She can take painkillers for this to help her relieve her symptoms while her immune system destroys the viruses. It's quick question time. Pause the video and try these quick questions in your study along workbook or in your head and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, one, describe the difference between antibiotics and antibodies. Antibiotics are drugs that kill bacteria, whereas antibodies are produced by white blood cells and they attach to antigens on bacteria, labeling them for destruction. So they ultimately cause the same thing. Two, a patient goes to their GP as they have a bad cold. The GP doesn't prescribe antibiotics for this. Suggest why not? Well, it may not be a bacterial infection. It could actually be caused by a virus, so antibiotics wouldn't work. Or else, it might not be a serious illness and it will get better on its own, i.e. the immune system will destroy the pathogens. Three, what medicine might the doctor suggest that the patient take instead. In your answer, include the effect of this medicine. The doctor might suggest or prescribe painkillers. These relieve the symptoms of the infection, but they don't actually cure it. How did you do on the questions? Learn about how drugs are discovered and developed by clicking here. And if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe by hitting my icon or the red button down below. Thanks for watching and bye.